Hello, today's video is 37 LaSalle Street, Hopeton, on the market with Northwest Real Estate for 519,000. This is really resort style living, and you'll see as we go through the video. Uh, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, four undercover car spaces, an optional second driveway over on that side. It's a great spot for a caravan or a trailer or another vehicle. Uh, it's on five, oh sorry, it's on 1,770 square metres of land, not too far from the beautiful Lake Lascelles, and we'll go and check it out inside. So I've stepped in the front door, and we're greeted by this beautiful big entry foyer, and we turn to the right and go through the door, we've got the master bedroom. I'll turn the light on as we're going. One of the features of this home is the uh, big bay windows and the huge bedrooms so we've got a built-in robe that side of the bed and another one that side of the bed and there's still plenty of room in this bedroom there is a split system on the floor there then we've got the ensuite floating vanity toilet stepless shower Tiled to the ceiling, IXL up there, really is a quality that you would expect in a home like this. We've come up to the other end of the house and we've got to the lounge room. So we've got another bay window, ceiling fan, another wall mounted split system or floor mounted split system, wood heater. Beautiful room, this one. We've just opened up the door at the end of the passage and that's that uh, optional driveway you've got there. And you can see the veranda goes around. This is bedroom number two. Got some bookshelves there. Another floor mounted split system. It's being used as an office. And behind this bag trolley, I'd say that was a chimney once upon a time. It's been converted into a cupboard. Still a good size room. Just got to the bathroom, we're at the other end of the passage again. Beautiful big bath, freestanding bath. Floating vanity. Shower. Toilet. IXL and exhaust fan. This really is a beautiful bathroom. Third bedroom, once again, the bay window, floor mounted split system, and plenty of cupboard space. The owners are in the process of moving out. So that's why there's bits of furniture and half made things. This bedroom overlooks the pergola area and the car garage. Next room along is the family room. Freestanding wood heater, ceiling fan, got vinyl planks on the floor. Then it goes into the dining room with a wall mounted split system up there. Around to the kitchen, electric appliances including a dishwasher, double sink, wall oven and hot plates, spot for the fridge, spot for the wine, that's a nice view out the kitchen window looking at the garden and then quite a large pantry just about holds an aisle out of a supermarket in there. And a nice little touch is this barn door on the industrial style rollers, which looks quite effective. Once again, we're on vinyl planks. We'll swing around into the laundry. Good cupboard, spot for a second fridge, trough, automatic washing machine taps, even a spot for the freezer. So I've just come out the dining room door. 
just show you one of the great aspects of this home. Big wide veranda. The deck's quite high, it's raised as you can probably tell from the video. The house is solid brick, most of it. There is a bit of weatherboard and hardy plank on it. There's been extensions over the time. It's got two heat pump hot waters. This is the car garage, we'll call it. It's got an automatic door on the end of it. That comes off the side street. That's big enough for a single car. And then we've got the deck barbecue area with two ceiling fans and the works. Tropical style garden. Large rainwater tank. Close for the barbecue. The pool filter's not very old. It's all been redone. It's uh, now a salt pool. And what resort would be without a pool? Solar blanket on the pool. Another big rainwater tank. A shed to put all the pool stuff in. A spot to sit. It's got some posts there for a uh, shade sale, I'm assuming. But it is a lovely area. Come and enjoy Hopeton's nice warm summers in here. It'd be fantastic for the kids. So we're back out into the garden and I'll just show you this beautiful garden. Current owner is a bit of a gardening buff. There is some solar panels up on the roof. I can't remember off the top of my head how many there is. But uh, that offsets all those split systems I showed you earlier. I'm just walking around the garden now, just showing you what's here. There's another garden shed there. There's plenty of shedding on the property. Fruit trees. This uh, caravan carport it's access off the side street if you haven't got a caravan don't worry you can put a trailer another car whatever you like in here it's got plenty of height so even the highest caravan will go in there no worries at all there's power power everywhere in this place somewhere to put the wood and uh, if you don't want to use it as a woodshed it's a little bar woodshed bar we've come around to the south side of the house and another garden shed this is huge this one this is a double and uh, the watchers of these videos will usually watch for the uh, for the clothesline, sorry to disappoint you on this one, but uh, this clothesline's hidden away and it's attached to the side of the house. Most people love the rotary style. This is a folding clothesline. And this is another hot water service. So that gives us three of these hot waters. There was two on the other side and one on the south side. And a gate goes out to the front. And if you haven't seen enough sheds, Here's another one. This one's more of a workshop. Power in here, all recently upgraded. And just around the corner is the toilet. 
So that's three toilets in the property. So I've showed this driveway from different angles, but this gives you a better idea. It's got its own crossover off the street. That was the door I was looking through before. There's the solar stuff for the panels. NBN receiver up there. 